When you're brushing your dog with a slicker brush, the technique you use matters. Good technique means you brush the coat thoroughly and that your dog is happy and comfortable. Poor technique means that you might leave tangles in the coat that could grow into mats, and your dog might be so uncomfortable that he bites at the brush or hides. The term pat and pull refers to the motion you make with your brush when you're using good brushing technique. This technique will help you keep your dog tangle-free and comfortable, which means they'll be more cooperative when you brush them. First, we'll go through pat and pull best practices. Work from the tips of the toes to the top of the head. Always line brush so you can be sure that you're brushing all the way to the skin. Use gentle strokes. Slicker brushes are designed to separate hairs efficiently, so let the brush do the work for you. In this video, the direction of hair growth is to the right. Line brush by parting the hair with a comb or with your hand. With a slicker, pat by touching down lightly to the skin at the line. Then pull the slicker through the top layer of hair while lifting the brush slightly off the skin. This is the motion your brush will make. Picture an airplane lifting off from a runway. The idea is to prevent the pins from scratching the skin while you're brushing that top layer of hair. When you've finished brushing a section of hair, move the line up the coat, creating a new top layer of hair. Continue to pat and pull. Remember to work from the tips of the toes to the top of the head. There are a couple things to avoid as you pat and pull. Don't dig the brush into the skin while you pat. Just touch gently to make sure you're picking up the hair all the way down to skin level. Also, don't scrape the slicker pins along the skin. Doing these things hurts and could cause brush burn on your dog. It could also be aversive to your dog, making them not want to be brushed by you in the future. Now we'll go over the best way to handle tangles. Make multiple gentle brush strokes. Start at the ends of the hair and gradually work your way toward the roots. Make as many strokes as you need to at any one depth before moving the slicker deeper into the coat, like this. Remember to be gentle and let the brush do the work. What to avoid when handling tangles? Don't try to work out a tangle by brushing it directly from the roots. This will make your dog uncomfortable. Several strokes are more effective at resolving tangles than one. Okay, now let's review pat and pull best practices. Work from the tips of the toes to the top of the head. Line brush so you can be sure that you're brushing all the way to the skin. Use gentle strokes and let the brush do the work for you. Line brush by parting the hair. Pat by touching down lightly to the skin at the line. Then pull through the top layer of hair while lifting the brush slightly off of the skin, like an airplane taking off from a runway. When you're finished brushing a section of hair, move the line up the coat. Continue to pat and pull. If you encounter a tangle, work through it bit by bit from tip to root. Start with shallow brush strokes at the ends of the hair and carefully progress toward the roots. Happy brushing!